In this video, we'll show you how to prepare a gas tank for application of KBS tank sealer. All right, now we have another gas tank that here that we're going to work on. Uh, we've already done the cleaning process on the inside of the tank, and we're going to uh, do the rust blast here shortly. But we want to work on the outside of the tank. So we're going to go ahead now, and we're going to wire wheel this tank really well. Um, and then we will do the KBS clean process. So uh, we'll be back. Okay, so now we're here to seal a 20-gallon gas tank. Uh, we want to kind of show you a little bit about what we've done so far. We've used the KBS clean. We've used the rust blast to etch the surface. Now it's been rinsed, dried for about a week. So now we're going to kind of show you some of the other things we did. Now we did come across some holes in the outside of the tank. Um, and we've patched them with the KBS New Metal. And we're going to show you what that looks like here. Right there. Okay, it's a two-part uh, epoxy. We've prepped the outside surface with the clean and the rust blast. Mixed the new metal up 50-50, uh, equal parts. Mixed it together till it's thorough. You push that into the hole, smooth it out, let it fully cure, sand it smooth, and this is what you get. Now, um, plugging the holes in a tank seems to always be a big question. So you have, in this particular tank, we have the filler neck. We have a tube. Let me see, the tube is on the other side. Let's go over here. Now, we have this little hole here. And what did you use to fill the, uh, seal that up? I just used a uh, wire connector with some Teflon tape around it and screwed it in the hole. See, that works out excellent. Um, we have another one over here, which it looks like we've done the same thing. Um, and and I just used a piece of PVC adapter and screwed it in the hole and then put duct tape on top. Now, we also have these little holes for the uh, sending unit. Um, and we're going to take and just fill them full of grease so that the tank sealer doesn't mess up the threads. You'll seal inside. And then we're going to put tape on the outside. Just so the tank sealer can't come out. You can use Vaseline. You can, anything that's going to stop the tank sealer from getting into the threads. Move that off. All right, well, we're going to get some duct tape on this thing, and then we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Now, we've got that all duct taped up. So That concludes this exterior preparation video. Thanks for taking time to watch, and we hope you find these money-saving and time-saving tips useful.